250 families. And uh, we're gonna give these people some cooked food, some rice, and also they have an opportunity to get some clothes. So the first thing they're going to do is come over here and make sure that they sanitize and also get their registered name down so that we know that they've been. And then they're going to come over and put their empty canisters on that bench over there. And we're going to fill that for them with food. So today they're going to get uh, fried chicken and sticky rice. We also have five kilograms of rice for them. Um, and they also get to choose some clothes that they need or water bottles that they need to take home with them as well. This is our beautiful greenhouse and uh, we keep replanting different things inside it so that the soil is able to be refreshed. So come on in and take a look inside. So right now we're growing kapao, which is a herb that's used in a lot of very tasty dishes. And we're also growing horapa and we're planting lots of new herbs and spices. So right now the season in here is for growing herbs and spices. And we have one Mai. One Mai is a single mom. She came here with no money, nowhere to live. So she's on our scholarship program. She's in our gardening program and she's got someone to help take care of her child. This is Kunwe. Kunwe came to us and um, he has a severely disabled mother. So he wasn't able to work because he had to care for her. So now they live here at the housing estate. We're able to help care for her and he's able to be in meaningful employment in the garden. So thank you so much for this amazing greenhouse. So about eight months ago, we bought 24 chickens and uh, we waited a long time, but they are now laying eggs. So we get anywhere between 25 to 30 chickens a day. So we've got people who take care of them. But again, our education system is holistic. It's not just about sending kids to school. So some of our scholarship students are here and they're learning how to take care of chickens so that when they leave school, they will be able to take care of themselves as well. So come and have a look at our chickens here. And they're making lots of noise. I think they're getting ready to lay. And here we are collecting the eggs. Hello, Kumwe behind me. He's the leader of the chicken project and he's teaching these young girls how to care for the chickens, how to collect the eggs, and he's the manager of the chicken coop. Last year we successfully applied for a grant for computers and computer teachers so that we could run a STEM program here on Saturday and Sundays. So we bought some computers, we employ three computer teachers and all of these children come from the slums and most of them are also on our scholarship program. So they've come and they've learned everything from how to type a document in Word, how to use Excel, Publisher, how to make a PowerPoint presentation and now they're actually learning how to make animated programs and the video that you're watching right now is all also being made by some of these STEM students. So this is an extra curricular activity that we offer to these children who don't have access to technology at their homes like their other peers do. So this is a way for them to learn, get new skills and feel confident with technology. So these are two of our scholarship students that actually live here at the housing estate as well. These two girls are actually on foster care because they don't have family. So instead of being in an orphanage, they're in foster care here at our housing estate and also on our scholarship program. So after school, they come home, they have a snack, they have a little bit of a rest and they get down to their homework. And the added advantage of being here is they also have access to computers and printers if they need that and also lots of people that can help them. So they're very blessed to be able to live here and thank you so much for supporting them. our first day back at Kids Club in almost three years so we are so excited and this is our younger group here and so after introducing ourselves and the leadership these children are now coming up with a name for their group so starting next week we're going to be having STEM computers here English class we'll be starting a papa school soon and they'll also be learning Bible and craft every week and of course before they go home everybody gets a meal so we are so excited to be starting our kids group again today so these are the older children that are part of our kids club so we've separated them because they've got more needs special in needs that so they're going to be learning STEM they're also going to be learning English and we're also going to be introducing clubs such as cooking clubs to give them life skills that they need so they'll also be learning Bible and also making craft they can take home with them so we are so excited today they are giving us ideas about what they would like to learn about their needs so that we can more specifically meet the needs of these kids so we are very excited today Thank 
house today. We're so blessed with so many people who want to hear about the Word of God. So the adults are in there, and Pastor Pai is preaching. And out here we have the children's club. So this morning at Kids Club, we learned about the Pearl of Great Price. And we did an activity where we made a bangle. And then in the afternoon at church, we continue that theme and we get the, the understanding of the children's understanding of that story. So now they're doing a coloring in sheet and they're going to be talking about ways that they can spend time with God because they know how precious they are to Him. preschool and this is an essential part of the program that we do. So these children come from homes in the slums where they simply don't have pencils and crayons and toys to play with. So this is more than just coming to play but it's a place where they feel safe, a place where they get fed and also they're learning Thai and English.